for me, it is not wanting to be associated with the absolute to me. And I heard this word used recently. I was like, you know what? I haven't wanted to use this word. But the absolute arrogance with which the player base is so often treated. I've given my feedback. I've done it privately. I've done it quietly. I've done it through the CCP server, which I thought was the best way to do it. That's how I lead my life. But what I came to accept and realize is I was just frustrating the heck out of myself. And that when I made a video on it, sometimes I would see positive change, even if it was momentary. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure it's in the thumbnail, the title somewhere, maybe some of my Twitter posts or my community posts on YouTube. I have in fact left the CCP. I have a variety of reasons and I will go over them. A couple of ground rules for this video is one, I want you all to keep in mind that I am under a non-disclosure agreement. I did sign that, right, from my experience and time in the CCP. Now, I would have respected everyone's privacy any way people were right on that server with an expectation of privacy, even though that was broken many times. I'm not going to do that because I do not think that would be the right thing to do, and I do believe in doing the right thing. Also, I'm not one to break something that I have signed. Additionally, and this is very, very important to me, is this is my decision. This is something I decided to do, and in no way should it be construed as or is it intended to be a reflection on my opinion or what I even think you should walk away from as far as opinions of other CCP members. I guarantee you, and I feel like this is very safe and allowed for me to say, the vast majority of the people on there, the CCP members on there, care very much about this game and the game experience. They provide a lot, a lot, <laughs> a very strong feedback to Kabam and the vast majority of it is pro player. It comes from their experience. We didn't always agree, but I could see where they were coming from when they were willing to answer my questions. This is my decision based on my experiences, the way I carry myself and what I was hoping to get out of the CCP program. I will explain that as we go and I will look at the questions that you have left for me on the YouTube comments. And then the last thing is if I use examples, because I often speak that way, I will use my myself. I'll use hypotheticals and myself. If I ever don't do that, unless I make it very, very clear that I'm intentionally using someone else's example, Please assume that it's just a, I, I misspoke, I did not mean to, and that my full intention is to use myself and hypotheticals. Okay, so ultimately, why did I why did I leave this, right? If you don't, if you don't wanna um, read the questions and answers from that you all have left for me on the YouTube community page, it's because, and I know this is gonna sound cliche, but I think it's also a saying that the vast majority of you will completely know and understand immediately. And that's why I think it's very fitting. Because the whole idea that with great power comes great responsibilities. Now, uh, I really believe in that. Now, of course, I've made a tremendous amount of mistakes in my life. I've played this game, I think, for eight years now. And obviously, I've made a lot of mistakes. We all have. We're human. OK, but ultimately, I feel like if I have power in something, I have a responsibility to help. That's how I lead my own life. That's the sort of job I have. And I think for relevance for you, the viewer, you should know I'm a very fortunate person. I currently have a very fulfilling job and a wonderful, wonderful family. My life is full and rich and I am grateful. I do YouTube because it is fun. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a person who loved playing this game, started making videos with the pandemic, had a lot of fun with it, enjoyed interacting with you all and decided I should get better at this game. It then grew to the point where two people in what I call the MCOC Illuminati, which was come up by you all, the viewers, right? You started calling that what I was calling the rankings team, the people whose advice I take and put into my rankings videos that we've been doing for 34 months now. Two of them actually full-time now work for Kabam. <laughs> and if Kabam was smart, they'd hire the rest of them. Because I truly believe those people that I've become friends with over the time in the game, they love this game. And they also know what it's like to be a player of it. And they are working their butt off to make this game better. Now, I think that's important for you to know because I, the way I'm going to analyze this and the way I framed all of this is very, very, that's the Brazilian uh, Wonder Woman. Pretty good comment. The way I framed all of this 
It's just different and it's only gonna be isolated to me. And that's all I'm intending to talk about. Now, I joined the CCP because I really wanted to. What? Who wouldn't want to, right? The default would be yes, of course you'd want to. You get early access to knowledge. You, uh, you get to make videos and things like that. You, you don't have to use your own items and units. And I remember doing that. Use my own items and units to make videos. It just it was very, very frustrating and upsetting. And when I got into the CCP, I was so excited. And I got to meet the people who were making the game. It was like a sneak peek behind the curtain. And I used to analogize it to like when I was a little kid, if I had got to meet the people who were making Madden or other games that I've loved or the World of Warcraft, it would have just been amazing. And that was really cool. But not that slowly, actually. My enjoyment of being there degraded and it degraded fast. And it degraded for a variety of reasons. Mainly because I wanted to be there to be helpful. And I knew that you, the viewer, knew that I was in the CCP and you would come to me with questions. And as someone who played the game and had many times had had those similar questions, I wanted to answer them. I feel like I have this power, I have this knowledge, I wanna share it with you. Now, sometimes I wouldn't be able to because of the NDA, right? The non-disclosure agreement. But I would try to get that out there. I recently made a video listing all all of the most pertinent issues in my mind for this. I'll link it in the description. But one of the things I talked about was like the communication and I felt like the CCP was often just hung out to dry. I don't remember if I used the example in that video, but I'll use it now. The day, uh, y'all remember the day, the day Black Widow Clairvoyant was included in the seven star voting thing? I was like, this is such a great idea, Kabam to include the community in the voting of that. It's our game. You're making us feel like it's our game. Thank you for including us. I love this. Now I was aware of who was supposed to be in the vote. It was not clairvoyant. And we see that go up on Twitter. And, uh, you know, uh, I we alert bam, that, hey, this is happening. And it gets taken down and I'm on Twitter and I don't have time to make videos for everything. Okay. I'm, as I said, I'm very fortunate. I have a very full, full-time job and family. I have a very rich and wonderful life and I'm grateful for it. So I don't have time to make videos on everything. I just don't. But I got on Twitter because I was like, people are going to want to know and I want to try to help calm everyone, right? Because I see the stress that players feel. And I feel like I want to try to be helpful for that, to that, alleviate some of that stress. And so I was like, even like, hey, let's give credit where credit's due. It feels like Kabam's taking, you know, the L on this and they're saying, hey, we're sorry. We messed up. This was a mistake. Yes, clearly an artist drew this. Yes, clearly someone then had to post it on Twitter, which is like, okay, that's a whole separate problem. But we're sorry. Let's at least give credit. They're apologizing. They're trying to address it. They're saying it was a mistake. But they're not trying to, to kind of like pull one over on us but I couldn't give the whole explanation. And people were getting very upset with me on Twitter because they were you know, feeling like I was being pro-kabam and, and all these various things. And I was like, God, you know what? Like from their perspective, I completely agree. I understand why they feel that way. That's very not fun for me. And I'm not trying to make this like, oh, poor Vega, blah, blah, blah. No, it's more like I do this for fun, for enjoyment. This has become something I very much look forward to. I love doing the streams, interacting with you. And now the people who I'm trying to help, the people who have chosen to follow me on Twitter, which again, I feel like it's not a great power. I'm not Spider-Man, but geez, people are looking for opinions and information, following me on something. They deserve to know the truth. They deserve to know what's really going on, what I really think. And I felt very handcuffed, but still I was like, I've been, I, you know, I'm doing my best. If they want to be mad at me, I totally get it. I'm not gonna argue with them. I'm not gonna turn this into an argument of pro-kabam, anti-kabam, because that's not what this is about. And I wanna use a bad word, but I kid you not, like what felt like 30 minutes later, I log onto YouTube and Legacy is making a video and completely explaining every single thing that happened. Now I happen to be, I happen to, be friends with Lagos. I consider him an MCOC friend. I was like, dude, what the hell? That was like, that was non-disclosure. Like what the H? 
right? And other people on the CCP server are like, you know, whatever, I'm not supposed to talk about that. We get, we get told that Legacy was authorized to do it. I was like, look, <clears throat> Kabam, if you want to make yourself look bad, right? And this is like a small example, given the way the game has been for a very long time, but really the last couple of months. If you want to make yourself look bad, that's up to you. But if I just not on a Discord server, just not pinging everyone and saying, hey, go ahead, tell everyone the truth. We understand the community is upset. They're invested in this game. We have great power. We've put something out that makes people want to play every day. We are grateful that they enjoy our work product so much that they are willing to play it all day and then go on the forums and then campaign for what it is they want to ask questions, to seek out information. Instead of saying, we have great power here. We put this out into the world. And you all, you CCP members, like, thank you. They can't even be bothered to let us know. And this goes across a variety of things. Ritra now is apparently, you know what? This all comes, these are all questions that people have asked. We will talk about them. You're hearing anger in my voice because it's real. Like I said, I've made mistakes in my life. I've made a lot. Companies make mistakes. It happens. They're run by people. For me, it is not wanting to be associated with the absolute, to me, and I heard this word used recently, and I was like, you know what? I haven't wanted to use this word but the absolute arrogance with which the player base is so often treated. I've given my feedback. I've done it privately. I've done it quietly. I've done it through the CCP server, which I thought was the best way to do it. That's how I lead my life. But what I came to accept and realize is I was just frustrating the heck out of myself. And that when I made a video on it, Sometimes I would see positive change, even if it was momentary. But if I did it on the server, usually just got covered up. I'm a player first. I'm still not anti-Kabam. And I'm definitely not anti-CCP. But I feel better not being a part of it. Now let's get to your questions. Okay, here we are uh, on, on the questions you all have asked. And again, because I know I'm going to put a timestamp directly to this. I want to make this clear. Remember, this is me and my decision making. Absolutely none of this do I believe would be even be reasonable or fair to then make negative assumptions about other CCP members. Okay, we all have different ways of doing things. We also have different ideas on what it is as our responsibility. And just because I think a certain way does not mean other people should. I do not believe this is an objective right or wrong. This isn't like saying, is murder good? Okay, please do not. And also, if you do go and leave just like very angry hatred remarks on all the CC members, I have to tell you, you're often barking at the wrong people. It is, that was also a frustrating part about being part of the CCP was so often being like, if you, the community, only knew what I was doing internally messaging, spending a ton of time trying to get these messages across. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I saw so many CCP members, so many doing the exact same thing. All right, now let's go. We, this is about me. OK, let's go. Uh, so let's read these questions. Oh, if I don't read your question, it either is because I can't answer it. I'm just I just can't. I thought about it. Is there a way I can and I can't? Or it feels like it went into another question I've already answered or I'm going to answer, okay? Um, you can see the post from me here. Oh, it, well, no, let's go ahead and get to this. Uh, and there was so many supportive ones like this from Super Saiyan. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I've made a lot of mistakes in the game and in this world. Uh, I've just had a lot more time, I think, to learn from them and I'm doing my best. I am doing my best. Um, okay, this is a very generous uh, question here, an opportunity from Wolfpack. I will consider it. I have, I do have limited time. 
I, I, I just do. Uh, there's so many videos I wish I could make. And so while that does sound very fun and would probably be great for my channel as far as growth, I, I'll just be fully honest. I respect and, and I'm grateful for the offer. I don't believe I'd be able to uh, take you up on it. Uh, I appreciate the positive uh, support of the Battlegrounds tournaments. I absolutely love doing that. <laughs> thank you, Brandon. We'll move right on through, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, Laser, you're awesome. I, I, my full intention is to continue playing this game. Uh, how I play it, we'll see, but I definitely continue to, to play this game. What are ways you wanted to make this game better? How did you suggest and what was Cam's response to your suggestions? Um, so I can answer some of this. Ultimately, for those of you who've watched my channel enough, you know that I would be vocal, right? Most of the reason why I didn't make more kind of state of the game or problem videos is I just didn't have time. Also, I do enjoy focusing on the positive. I do this for enjoyment and relaxation and interaction, social interaction with you all. And if I'm just covering all the negatives, because there are so many of them, then I will get down as a human, as a person, and I will carry that with me in my life. And I don't want to do that. I would often make the suggestions in the appropriate channels on the CCP server. Um, like I said earlier, I'm aware of the intro that I just did. Often they just get covered up. You hope that someone reads or sees them. And I found it through DM. And I want to say this, just like there are people at Kabam who I believe genuinely care. And I'm not just talking about my close friends that I had before they got hired. There are other people who are very willing to spend a lot of time DMing, communicating, kind of like theory crafting almost, or like stress testing ideas. And while we didn't always agree and they didn't do what I said, the whole idea wasn't to get people to do what I say, right? That's not my company, I didn't take it over. And I can respect when people disagree if the logic calls and they feel like they're treating people well. Sometimes that happened. But they just didn't do what I thought. Well, that's okay. They don't make the game for me. They make the game for all of us. They want a lot of people to play. It's a business. I get that. And if I could respect the decision and where it was coming from, the motivations, and then the logical conclusions they made along the way, that's fine. So through suggestions on the CCP server and then in my own videos. Okay, so here we have a bunch of very supportive comments and enjoying the battlegrounds. I appreciate that. I still do intend to have a season two of the VBC. It probably look a little bit different than did this first season, but that is still in my plans. Um, here we have this question from Brian. What was the decision based? Was the decision based on your experiences of playing the game or as a CCP member? Um, so for me, those were completely tied in. I, I could not just separate them out because I was in the CCP as a player of the game. Just like my channel has become a huge part of what I enjoy about playing MCOC and the community now that, that we've cultivated and I'm a part of, I, that was who I was in the CCP. So that person, me, got outrageously frustrated in the CCP and felt like I need to leave. I will no longer be a, 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 a positive member here. I will just probably rant and rave and then I won't get listened to and I will be easily dismissed. That's why so often in my videos where I did bring up problems, I would say, when you go to the forums, try to be, have calmed down. It wasn't because I was trying to lecture you, it's because it's, that's what I tell myself internally. It's like, you gotta calm down. Because if you just come in yelling and screaming and making accusations, no one's gonna listen to you and you'll be very easy to dismiss. And I found, I came to believe that I could no longer be that rational, own person in the CCP, might as well leave it. <laughs> Make these videos when I have time and when they come up, right? It's almost like it's almost like a release to do this. I'm currently feeling better about all of this as I make this video. All right, you know, we have some more uh, people, you know, and I appreciate, I really do appreciate the positive support. You, you it's interesting, right? It, when people make negative comments or hateful comments, it's just easy to dismiss. And I ultimately often just feel badly for the person. Uh, but these positive ones are very nice. They really are. And they'll, you know, like, okay, I'm doing something out there. What I've created, what I've spent my time and my passion on, it, it's helping people or they're enjoying that. And that's a big deal. That is a really big deal and it's fulfilling and meaningful. So thank you. Uh, here's a question from Red Hat. Thanks for doing something. I've been wondering if the CCP is beneficial for players. Yes, I actually think it is. Uh, you, you do bring up the instant tutorials, right? And there are some great CCP members who do some great instant tutorials. And they let you know, do I wanna like, apologies, I know that's gonna be an odd cut, but it got interrupted and I, I had something I needed to take care of. But 
Yeah, so I do think the CCP can be beneficial for players. I think that's like anything else, right? Try not to make blanket comments, try not to make blanket um, assumptions about everyone, right? We're all people, we're all human. Everyone I'm sure is in there for their own and unique and different reasons and utilizing it as best as they possibly can for their purposes. I do think the instant tutorials are very helpful. I do think like the breakdowns of the monthly events and the updates and all of that are very helpful. And you know, it is still a way to give meaningful feedback. I just personally found that I was incredibly frustrated with that avenue of doing it and the kind of implications or the consequences of doing it that way and found that making these videos seem to have a better chance of people actually listening and or I ended up feeling better about them. And like I said, I'm a player first. I wasn't a YouTuber who found this game. I enjoy this game and now I'm doing this. So yeah, I, and you're gonna see, I'm a channel member of a couple of them. I enjoy quite a few of them. They're channels I watch regularly and often go to for advice on how to play the champions, how good they think they are and that whole thing. So yes, yeah, I am not anti-CCP. There's a very supportive comment from K21. I think people are gonna find, and for those of you who really paid attention, then he and I will often agree on a lot of things. We're different people, so we have different ways of expressing that and saying that. We run different channels, of course, but it's, you're, it's not gonna be a change. I think you're often going to see that <laughs> we agree on some conclusions. Uh, so this really should not be a shock or surprise, and please don't be shocked or surprised if you continue to see that in the future. All right, so we have some supportive comments from K-Dog, no surprise. Oakley, thank you, and that was great advice. Um, Nick, I answered that there and then in this video quite a few times, but yes, I do very much enjoy playing the game. I am not intending to quit it at all. That just was like a nice time to break though. Like a lot of times people be like, you, you know, you need to speak with your wallet. Well, I understand it and I agree and I'm not gonna turn this video into an hour long video. I see how long it already is. Uh, but I, you will probably not see me back off from the big holiday days. It's just how I enjoy playing the game. And yes, it is a way that myself and players like me can kind of catch up or play in the level that we want to play despite having often demanding jobs and families we have the luxury of being able to do that in this game so i'm not advocating that everyone does it and i'm aware that not everyone can or not everyone wants to but i also don't want to be a hypocrite and i want you to see that that's probably how i will continue to play um and then here's the question from uh nicholas um the root mechanic I may honestly make a whole separate video on this because it just feels ridiculous to me. This is where I came in and earlier in the video I was talking about just the arrogance on it all. And I think so often just like not looking at this from the right perspective. And this one, I don't mean right as in like it's the only correct way. I have read a lot of the Kabam side on this and the people defending them and the theories and the logic on it. And I couldn't argue with any of the logic. I also read a lot of the reasons why players were upset about it. And they're like, Root has existed for a very long time. <laughs> uh, and ultimately, what I came down to is, it was like cost-benefit analysis. That's how I make a lot of these sorts of decisions. Now, maybe I'm just unaware of the cost to Kabam. Maybe doing rank down tickets and not having them be bugged, because putting out bugged rank down tickets, apparently, they're very good at. But the unbugged ones that would actually help people, maybe those are like, I don't know, maybe they are flown in on a private jet. I have no clue. I don't claim to know how to make these digital items. But maybe they're so expensive or time consuming. I honestly have no clue that the motivation lied behind, let's find reasons we cannot give them here because that's what it felt like. It felt like debating Wiley Coyote and Bugs Bunny put together. They're like, we're just gonna come up with stuff. Like, oh, well, you know, uh, this was a clearly, uh, you know, a rebound. Oh, it, no, it wasn't rebounding, you forgot the post. It's a bug. Well, it's been a bug in the game for since like Craven came into the game. Yes, Trello board. Trello board? What the heck is a Trello board? Go read the Trello board. The, what are you talking about? What's a Trello board? Like literally. And why, why is that now the source of you? You're aware you have a whole game where you can reach all of us, right? You can write any of us a message. 
You do it all the time. Sometimes you include some information that clearly shouldn't be there. When you're like trying to sell a crystal and you're letting us know about how you're trying to convert people and things like that. That feels like a big oops. How the hell did that even end up in, in the email? Like, how did that happen? Did someone copy and paste an internal document and then get to the game mail and be like, paste, go, hit send. And God, I hope it was an intern. Anyways, you've got this way to reach all of us. And you didn't do it that way. You didn't let us know about the bug that way. You've got a whole forum where you've got all these like forum guardians, community managers. You have a Twitch stream that you get us all to go and watch. You have so many public forward facing or outward facing ways you could have let people know. We've always known it was a bug. And if you have always known, then why did you release Iron Zemo with it? And you've got all you've got all of these ways you could have informed us. The best being in game, the next best being a fo uh, the forums, the third best being on your live streams, and D all of the above. By far the best. Because you know people are ranking up that champion. Right? You say you have stats on all this stuff. So people are ranking them up. You're aware that it's a bug. And you don't tell anyone, but you put it on a Trello board. And then use that as the reason and justification why people shouldn't get rank down tickets. But then you want us to trust and you want us to have confidence, and you want to be treated with respect, it goes both ways. It's a two-way street. You give respect, you get respect. It's like... So yeah, that's how I feel about the root. Uh, just, you know, more very positive uh, comments. And, and again, I appreciate it all. Don't tell me they're gonna actually nerf it. I, I don't know. I, 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 I've read that and I'm like, one of the reasons I never made the essentials video on Rintra and those of you who are watching this first time, those are like my guides, my full breakdowns, like here's how to play a champion. I call them essentials. It's fun. It's, I would play Rintra and I'm like, it's not making sense. I fight this champion. Something's not making sense. I use him. Something's not making sense. He's very powerful, but like, go and read the abilities. And then I'll go play the champion and something's not making sense. I've been saying it for a very long time. I've been saying this. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy and this is like a little recording room my wife had built for me during the pandemic because I was like, I think I want to do YouTube. And she's like, yeah, let's have this built for you. I'm just some guy. I'm just, I'm just a dude. And I could tell Rintra was wrong. And now, oh, it's on the Trello board. I think I'm going to use that in life. I'm going to use that. You know, like it'll be a line for a movie or the bathroom. I'm just going to cut in line and people will be like, hey, you can't do that, dude. I'll be like, Trello board. Check the Trello board. It's been up there. Check it. I don't know. Whatever. It, it blows my mind. Blows my mind. I'm waiting to hear you rip into command. Uh, I didn't realize how much I would in this one, but. Uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. All right, so we have some really good ones here. I mean, they've all been great, but we have some, I think, unique ones are bringing something up. And yeah, you're pointing out like the mental toll. Again, I'm not like a, I'm not like some full time YouTuber, right? And I think if you are, no, I, you know, I'm gonna go with a hypothetical with the rules I set up in the beginning of this video. I think if I was this full time YouTuber, like if this, if I personally, right, Vega was a full-time YouTuber and my family was relying on this income that I am bringing in, I think I'd be much more motivated to put up with all of this. I would be significantly more. So, but I'm not. <laughs> and the mental toll was huge because again, my responsibility was to feeling good about what I'm putting out there in the world. 
laser. Do you think commands clearly articulated what their goal? No, absolutely not. In fact, when um, this all came about, I felt like they were supposed to be partners. And no, absolutely not. And I covered that in another video. If you're interested for more prolonged thoughts on it, I'm aware of how long this video is getting. Do you have different ideas from Kabam what the primary goal? Nope. Uh, ideas, oh, probably for Kabam. No, I think it's fitting their needs. Uh, to be honest, because uh, no one's saying otherwise, right? And that's me. Like if something's not broken, I don't try to fix it. I will sometimes try to improve something. But if something's broken, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna try to make it better. Even if that makes everyone uncomfortable, right? Like everyone gets uncomfortable when you point out like, hey, this isn't really working. Our premise, our idea, our goals, we're not logically seeing that through to a conclusion. I'll, I'm the guy that'll point that out. <laughs> That's right, I'm the jerk. Um, because I want it to be better. I want it to be better for everyone. And so I can only think that way. And I, I, right now I feel like they must be happy with how it's going. I don't know. Does Kabam believe they're achieving their goals? No clue. I have I have absolutely no clue. My, I would have to assume they do. I, I don't know. I really don't know. This is an interesting one from Mike, and I know we've covered a lot of the other kind of parts of this, but this this is actually hitting at something that, again, ultimately really bothered me. So, yeah, uh, I do feel like sometimes I did start to feel like we're just free marketing because we're not getting the support and the tools. We're not included in the information, right? I, I, we're not we're not decision makers. I gave the example earlier in the video about I'm out there trying to calm the community because like I genuinely feel bad for the community. I could tell and understand why they would be stressed and frustrated. I'm like, well, I've got information. I want to be helpful. I don't want people stressed and frustrated. That sucks. They get enough of that crap in their life. They don't need it from the video game they play. I want to be helpful. But I'm hand and my hands are tied. And then I find out that someone else was authorized to tell them all this stuff. I mean, we're not. So I'm not saying it's intentional, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Things like that made a person like me feel like we weren't respected. Yeah, leave it at that. So again, just more, com uh, I can see how long the video is and just more very supportive comments. I appreciate all of them. Um, again, just more supportive comments. I know I'm starting to scroll over them. There's just so many, and this video is really taking a long time. Uh, support them from Holy Batman. And, and I, you can understand, obviously I'm making the decision to walk away from the CCP. So you can, I think, gather from that, that for me personally, the frustrations and the way I felt being part of it, I've chosen to leave. Now there's consequences to that, and I'm sure I'll be facing more and more and more, uh, but that's fine. I'm a big boy, I'm an adult, I'll be okay. Uh, the input issues, yeah, you know, I again, that would take hours. Um, I, I'm sorry that they're there. I know they come up from time to time. What was the breaking point? I think, you know, this video is covering uh, that they're banning to Ascension. I've not heard anything about Ascension. For those of you who've seen some of my recent videos though, you know that I'm very excited about it. I'm not breaking NDA here to tell you, I've heard literally nothing about it. That being said, I don't think they intend to forget about it. Uh, and again, just more positive comments and I appreciate them. And this one from Insidious Rage. Again, like I don't want anyone to draw conclusions on this about other CCP members. And it's not just because they're my friends. And it's not just, I have um, I have friends who are employees at Caban. I believe they're working their butt off. Their absolute butt off. But this is a big company, right? And it'd be like getting mad at the pilot of your flight for a decision their airline made about your ticket. Like, it's just not, it's not their thing. They're doing their best. And maybe they'll like give their feedback at some point or something. But it, ultimately that's not their, there's nothing they can do, right? And uh, and like I said, and I've said this multiple times, I just basically just got frustrated. I'd rather just have this YouTube channel, be a player of the game. I believe I could have made this video and stayed in the CCP. You're not muted. You're not told that you can't do this or that. You just can't share the information that's private. 
and it's understandable why that information is private. Again, for for other people on there, and also some of the information is meant to be a surprise. But again, for me, this is what I intended to do. I'm going to be a player first. I am still very interested in this game, and I still really love this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I, I can see this was a very long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was informative. And um, I'm looking forward to having some fun. We're going to have some fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.